Greetings and blessings whenever and wherever, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I wanted to share a little with you out of the book of John, chapter 10. If you read verses 22 through 40, Jesus is at a festival and he's being questioned about being the Son of God. Normally, if we read a lot of his parables, he spoke in mystery. But he spoke pretty clearly when he said, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me. This is in verse 25. He goes on to say, But you do not believe, because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. And that ends at verse 30. Jesus told them plainly, His Father has gifted him with the authority. The authority to claim us as his. I for one say praise you Lord. I'm glad to be called your child. And so today, I would like to pray for all of us out there who are the sheep of the Lord, who hear his call and answer it. We cannot be separated from God, no matter what the devil throws at us. He can't snatch us away from him. And when we hear his voice and we respond and we acknowledge it, that is how we know that we are the sheep of the Great Shepherd. Dear Lord Jesus, I pray today, and I pray thankfully for your grace, your mercy, your blessing, and your gift of salvation. I praise your name and I thank you, Lord, because I am one of your sheep and I have heard your voice. I pray for all of our fellow sheep in the flock, that they will also hear your voice, Lord, that they will acknowledge you, that they will praise you, and that they will know no matter what, we cannot be separated from you. Lord, I also acknowledge that you and the Father, you are one, in addition with the Holy Spirit that lives in us and seals our redemption as the children and the sheep in your flock. So I pray today that we would not lose faith and we would not lose hope, Lord but that we would rise as lions in the herd and be strengthened because we know that nothing will separate us from your love, not now and not after this life. And I pray, Lord, for those who do not acknowledge your word. Lord, I pray that you would have mercy on them so that they could see and feel and receive your grace. And Lord, now I also ask those that are listening that they would not only pray for each other, but that they would pray for me, Lord, to continue hearing your voice and to continue acting in faith and living out a testimony of your living word. And so I thank you again, dear Lord Jesus, for all the gifts you have given us from the heavenly places. And I praise your name on high. And in your name, dear Lord Jesus, I speak and I pray these things boldly. Amen. Be moved today, guys. Be moved in the flock as a sheep of the great shepherd. Listen for his voice and answer his call. Don't forget to read his word, to pray and make a relationship with God, a one-on-one -on -one personal relationship of prayer. And don't be separated. Know that nothing on this earth can take you from God himself. Because we are his children who have heard his word and belong to the bridegroom. Whenever, wherever, guys. God bless.